Hello my dear student how are you hope that all of you are fine i am also fine i am saiful islam lecturer of mathematics milestone college welcome all of you to my online class hope that you are enjoying your new classes today i will discuss about exercise 3.1 from your general math already we have discussed the basic things from this exercise and also solve some problems from this exercise today i will solve the remaining problem from this exercise so let us start our class problem number 7 look if a plus 1 by a is equal to 2 show that a square plus 1 by a square is equal to a power 4 plus 1 by a power 4 it is given a information from that information we will prove that a square plus 1 by a square is equal to a power 4 plus 1 by a power 4 so look at the solution so given a plus 1 by a is equal to 2 now we will find out the value of left hand side that is a square plus 1 by a square we can write a whole square plus 1 by a whole square so it become a form format of a square plus b square it become a format of a square plus b square here a means a and b means 1 by a now what is the corollary of a square plus b square we know there are three corollaries of a square plus b square what are they 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 are a square plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 2ab and true number a square plus b square that is a minus b whole square plus 2ab and three number a square plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square by 2 so among these three corollaries which one we will apply over there it's depend on the given part it is given a plus 1 by a so we will apply the or corollary of first one a plus b this is a and this is b a plus b so we will apply the first one if it is given a minus b that means a minus 1 by a that that case we will apply formula number 2 and if it is given a plus b and also a minus b both then we will apply three number corollary so here we will apply first one that is a plus b whole square minus 2 a b here a means a and b means 1 by a cancel this 2a now the value of a plus 1 by a is equal to 2 2 square minus 2 that is 4 minus 2 that is equal to 2 so the value of right hand side is left hand side is 2 now we will find out the value of right hand side if the value of right hand side is also 2 then it will be proved now right hand side that is a power 4 plus 1 by a power 4 a power 4 we can write as a square whole square and a power 1 by a power 4 we can write as 1 by a square whole square so it also become the format of a square plus b square so here also we apply the corollary of a square plus b square that one is the first corollary a square plus b square whole square minus 2 a b 
a plus b whole square minus 2ab that is a means a square and b means 1 by a square. What is the value of a square plus 1 by a square? Already we know the value of a square plus 1 by a square is 2 from the left hand side. So this is 2 square minus 2. This a square will cancel with the a square. So this is 4 minus 2 that is 2. So the left hand side and right hand side are equal. So we can write left hand side equal to right hand side that is short. So easily we have showed that right hand side left hand side is equal to right hand side by finding their values. So if you know the corollary you can find out the value of any expression. Now let's go to the next math. Now question number 8 look at the board. If a plus b equal to root over 7 and a minus b is equal to root over 5 prove that 8ab into a square plus b square is equal to 24. So we will start from the given part. Given a plus b is equal to root over 7 and a minus b equal to root over 5. Now left hand side that is 8ab into a square plus b square. So look, it is given 8ab into a square plus b square. There are two types of expression. 8ab. 8ab we can write as 2 into 4ab and we know the formula of 4ab. Again, we also know the corollary of a square plus b square. So if we apply the corollary of 4ab and a square plus b square, then we will then we can find the value of 8ab into a square plus b square very easily. So let's see the board. We can write 2 into 4ab into a square plus b square. So 2 into what is the corollary of 4ab. What is the corollary of 4ab? Yes, the corollary of 4ab is a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square and we have the value of a plus b and also the value of a minus b. So we can write a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. Now what is the corollary of a square plus b square? Just now, I have shown you three corollaries of a square plus b square. And I have told if it is given the value of a plus b and a minus b, then we will use the third number corollary of a square plus b square. What was it? Yes, it was a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square divided by 2. a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square divided by 2. This is the third corollary of a square plus b square when it is given the both a plus b and a minus b. On that case, we will apply the corollary uh, of a square plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square divided by 2. Now put the values 2 into a plus b that is root over 7 whole square minus a minus b that is root over 5 whole square. Again root over 7 whole square plus root over 5 whole square divided by 2 it will be 2 into 7 minus 5. We know square root and square it will be cancelled and the answer will be 7 here the answer will be 5. 
here it will be 7 plus 5 by 2 this is 2 into 2 7 minus 5 this is 2 and here it will be 12 by 2 so cancel this 2 2 2 twelves are 24 look this is the right hand side right hand side is 24 so we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side fruit so therefore left hand side equal to right hand side fruit this is fruit now let's go to the next map now question number nine look if a plus b plus c is equal to 9 and a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 31 what is the value of a square plus b square plus c square it is given two information from that two information we will find out the value of a square plus b square plus c square so let's start the solution given a plus b plus c is equal to 9 and a b plus b c plus c a is equal to 31 we know a square plus b square plus c square we know the corollary of a square plus b square plus c square is equal to a plus b plus c whole square minus 2 into a b plus b c plus c a so now put the value of a b plus b a b a plus b plus c the value of a plus b plus c is equal to 9 so this is 9 square minus 2 into the value of a b plus b c plus c a that is 31 so this is 81 minus 62 subtract it this is 9 1 19 so the value of a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 19 this is the answer of question number 9 Now we will discuss question number 11. Look, if a plus b plus c is equal to 6 and a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 14, what is the value of a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square? So look again, what we will find out? We will find out the value of a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square do you know any corollary of a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square no we don't know any corollary like this so how can we solve it at first we will write the formula of a minus b whole square and b minus c whole square and c minus a whole square look at the board given a plus b plus c is equal to 6 and a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 40. Now a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square. Now, at first, we will write the formula of a minus b whole square and b minus c whole square and c minus a whole square. That is the formula of a minus b whole square. And we know a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Again, b square minus 2bc plus c square. Again, c square minus 2 c a plus a square look there is 2 a square and 2 b square 
and also 2 c square 2 a square 2 b square and 2 c square so we can write like this 2 a square plus 2 b square plus 2 c square minus 2 a b minus 2 b c minus 2 c a now from this a square b square c square 2 a square plus 2 b square plus 2 c square we can take 2 common so it will be 2 into a square plus b square plus c square and here also we can take minus 2 as a common this is minus 2 ab this is minus 2 bc and this is minus 2 ca so from this, this three term we can take minus 2 as a common so this will be ab plus bc plus ca now look at the given part it is given the value of a square plus b square plus c square equal to 14 so we can write the value of a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 14 but it is not the given the value of a b plus b c plus c a so how can we find out the value of a b plus b c plus c a again we will apply the corollary of 2 into a b plus b c plus c a so look at the board this is 2 into 40 the value of a square plus b square plus c square is is equal to 14 a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 14 and minus the bill the formula of 2 into a b plus b c plus c a that is a plus b plus c whole square minus a square plus b square plus c square this is the corollary of 2 a b plus b c plus C A. Now, what is the value of A B plus A plus B plus C? Yes, the value of A plus B plus C is 6. And what is the value of A square plus B square plus C square? The value of A square plus B square plus C square is 14. 2, 14, 28. Minus, this is 6 square minus 14 that is 28 minus 36 minus 14 so it will be 28 minus 2 2 22 that is 6 so the value of a square minus a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square is equal to 6. This is our answer. Now, we will discuss the last question from this exercise. And this is also last question of my lecture. So, look at the board. This is question number 15. If a power 4 plus a square plus b square plus b power 4 is equal to 8 and a square plus a b plus b square is equal to 4, find the value of a square plus b square and 2 number a b. It is given to information and from that two information we will find out two values. Number 1 a plus a square plus b square and number 2 the value of a b. Okay, we know the corollary of a square plus b square as well as we know the corollary of a b. What is the corollary of a square plus b square? Yes, I have shown you three corollaries from a, of a square plus b square. That is a plus b whole square minus 2ab, a minus b whole square plus 2ab and third number is a plus b whole square minus a minus b plus a minus b whole square divided by 2. But which one we will apply over there it's depend on the given part look at the given part 
it is given a power 4 plus a square plus b square plus b power 4 is equal to 8. Again, a square plus a b plus b square equal to 4. By observing the given part, we can determine that we cannot apply the corollary over there and as well as the corollary of a b. The corollary of a b a plus b by 2 whole square minus a minus b by 2 whole square. Here also we cannot apply the corollary of a b. So how can we find out the value of a square plus b square from this given part? Okay, look at the board. Given a power 4 plus a square plus a square b square plus b power 4 equal to 8 and also given a square plus a b plus b square equal to 4. Now we can simplify this one. This equation we can simplify like this. a square whole square plus 2 a square plus a square b square plus b square whole square. Why I write about the 2 a square b square? To make a format of the formula of a square plus a plus b whole square. We know the formula of a plus b whole square is a square plus 2 a b plus b square. By writing 2 over there, we make a format of a plus b whole square where a square is a and b square is b. But look, I have written 2 a square plus b a square b square over there, but it was a square b square. So I have written 1 a square b square more. That's why I will subtract it from this. So this is minus a square b square. After that, it will be balanced. Now apply the formula of a plus b whole square over there where a square is a and b square is b. So a plus b whole square. Again a square b square we can write a b whole square is equal to 8. Now look again this become a format of a formula. Which formula? Yes this is a square minus b square and we know the formula of a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b here a means a square plus b square a means a square plus b square and b means a b so a plus b again a minus b now arrange it is equal to 8 now arrange it it will be like this a square plus a b plus b square a square minus a b plus b square is equal to 8 Look, what is the value of a square plus a b plus b square? The value of a square plus a b plus b square is 4. So, we can write like this. We can write like this. 4 into a square minus a b plus b square. a square minus a b plus b square is equal to 8 so if i if we take this 4 to the right side it will be divide that is a square minus a b plus b square is equal to 8 divided by 4 therefore a square minus a b plus b square is equal to 2 so the value of a square minus a b plus b square is equal to 2 now, from the equation of a square plus a b plus b square equal to 4 and the equation of a square minus a b plus b square equal to 2, we will find out the value of a square plus b square and as well as the value of a b. Now, 
we have a square plus a b plus b square is equal to 4. It is given part. And we got a square minus a b plus b square equal to 2 from the first equation. Right over there now. Now we will add this 2. So give a plus sign over there. We will add. So it will be cancelled. This is 2a square plus 2b square equal to 6. Take 2 common over there. It will be a square plus b square is equal to 6. Therefore, a square plus b square equal to 6 divided by 2. Therefore, a square plus b square equal to 3. So, the value of a square plus b square is equal to 3. So, we got the value of first one. a square plus b square is equal to 3. This is the answer of first one. Similarly, if we subtract this two equation, we will get the value of AB. Again, A square plus AB plus B square is equal to 4. A square plus minus AB plus B square is equal to 2. If we subtract it, the sign will be sense. So, this is plus a square and this is minus a square. This two will be cancelled. This is plus b square. This is minus b square. This two also will be cancelled. And this is plus a b. This also plus a b. That two will be 2ab is equal to 4 minus 2 equal to 2. Therefore, a b equal to 2 divided by 2. If I take this 2 to the right side, it will be division. Therefore, a b is equal to 1. So, the value of a b is equal to 1. This is the answer of 2 number part of this map. So, my dear student, hope that you have understood my lecture. After all, if you have any problem, you may ask your subject teacher. So, take care of your health. See you again. Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum.